I'm here on one of the most striking stands here at IFSEC 2015. I'm joined by Damien, Damien Marsh from Asa Abloy. Damien, how are you doing? I'm doing very well, sir. How are you? I'm really well, thank you. Right, first of all, impressive stand. Congratulations, really liking it. Lots of screens, lots of, uh, lots of devices around and about. We're going to get stuck into in just a moment. Um, but Asa Abloy, I want to find out a bit about what it is that Asa Abloy does. Okay. Well, for, uh, first and foremost, we're the global leader in uh, door opening solutions. Um, we use the term door opening because it's more about convenience. It's around the security and protection of assets, but it's also about convenience and it's everything around the door. We, we have some systems where we're more concentrated on things like, you know, from electric strikes, from ironmongery, and now what we're actually showcasing here at IFSEC is the more technological innovation approach. So we've got access control products, we've got smart home products, uh, key management, etc., etc. et cetera. So it's everything to do with key management, doing away with mechanical keys, yeah. but also then everything around the door. Sure, okay, well I mean, let, let's dive into some of those products. Um, what's, what's new, what, what's exciting here on your booth this year? Well, okay, well, I'm gonna talk about my own uh, business unit first <laughs> and foremost. Um, it's the Aperio stand, the access control platform. So Aperio is a wireless uh, technology that integrates to the locks, uh, providing cost efficiency, uh, easy deployment uh, and making it really economical to deploy access control across doors without wiring and disruption. Uh, we've got our new V3 platform, so it's basically a new, faster, more improved set of electronics. Everything's instantaneous in a matter of seconds, so you've got that real, real-time um, operation and being able to remote unlock and, and do all these sorts of weird and wonderful things. Yeah. We also have a, uh, a market study around Bluetooth, so delivery of a secure credential over the air to a mobile device to allow you to open uh, and, and ingress or, or egress a door. Uh, and it's quite interesting because you can have your phone in your pocket and as long as it's activated, when you yeah. get it within close proximity, you make a gesture, we call it the force, bit of a Star Wars hand <laughs> live there, uh, and it opens the door. So if you've got your shopping, you don't have to be fiddling around with your phone as long as you're in the right proximity. We also have the, uh, the data rack lock, which then protects the data, uh, data cabinets. Um, it basically retrofits about 90% of the global uh, racks already in production. So this is stuff that we would see in, in data centers, in Absolutely. machine rooms, securing those physical assets there? Well, what's been driven, this is driven by compliance. So Sarbanes-Oxley Oxley says that you need to have some form of auditability to protect those data racks. You know, you need to go who's going where and when. You know, gone are the days where a company had a complete rack it could be a you know several key blue chip companies have those racks uh, so you need to know who's gone where and when and actually control that so it's the right piece people doing the right job at the right time so that's from the access control sort of pie sorry Don. i just want to ask a question here because of the solutions that you've talked about many of them are are wireless right Absolutely, yeah. Is the, wire, is the wire dead? Is the wire dead? Or is there still a place for, for, for wired access control and wire comms there? Uh, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's a valid question. And, and again, wireless is becoming more and more secure and more and more commonly known. That's where our ma mass market is. But absolutely, there's still a place for wired solutions. Uh, it, you know, you've got to take in context in, in, in Excel at the moment. It's absolutely flooded with Wi-Fi. And we're having all sorts of conflicts and, you know, comms problems. But it's just the nature of the beast. So in somewhere like here, you probably need a wired solution. So we have offerings and solutions to, to complement that market also. No, good stuff. Um, is there anything else that's particularly exciting here on your stand? Absolutely. I mean, we've got uh, Tracker. Tracker is our uh, key management um, solution. So it's basically, you know, it's checking in and out keys. So things like distribution centers, lorry drivers would put their keys into this cabinet to allow the forklifts to go in and out the back to unload. So they're not allowed to drive off. I mean, a, a key retail customer, I don't know if I'm allowed to say any names, um, has basically had zero accidents since this was deployed. So they love it and they've just placed a multi-million pound order with us for that technology. We've now brought out their little brother, which is the Tracker 21 cabinet. So that's a commercially off the shelf, you know, install it and it works. It's plug and play, not really as, as, as in depth. Equally, we have Yale. Uh, Yale are really focusing on the residential market. So the key free, the access control I was talking about here, deploying it into everyday use. I have it on my front door. I love the fact I don't have a key. I've got a pin code, I can use my phone. Superb, you know. We, um, I, I, I just, no, I just want to say, well, when it comes to like uh, re residential access, we were chatting just a second ago about smartphones and about sure. how useful smartphones are and the fact that they've got biometrics on there as well. Is this something that you see developing over the next oh, ne next few absolutely. years? Absolutely. I mean, you look at the technological advancement and, you know, we're quite privileged at Asa Abloy in the fact that we are so innovative focused. 
Uh, we've actually been on the, the Forbes list of the top 100 innovative companies globally for the last two years running, um, beating the likes of Apple. So that gives you a context of where the market's going to. And we have these, these, these services and solutions to, to underpin that. Uh, Yale. We now you can see now as we've integrated with these partners here, yeah. Yale are integrating with the with the with the, um, the smart home providers. So again, we've got these modules with Orange and with Essence that really just plug in and, and it's you know Yale is synonymous with the security branding. So you've got that brand recognition doing well what we do, but then interlinking and and uh, and working in tandem with uh, with other providers for energy and, and home automation. Okay, Damien. Listen, thank you so much for showing us around. Stand. Is there just one final thing that you want to bring up, or have we? We pretty much covered it all because you've got so much on here. Absolutely. No, I mean, I mean, this year is really a defining year as well. We're stood in the middle of the, these these iPads. It's our integration zone, so we're working with global partners from across the world. You know, usually it's a NASA Abloy stand. We've opened up the doors. We've embraced our partners. So as you can see, we're working together with the likes of Linnell, Tyco, Need App, uh, just to bring in that whole, you know, cradle to grave solution of where we tap in with our products, sure. with the global players in the market in the industry. So you've opened the door to your partners. I see what you did there. Yeah, <laughs> Listen, David, thank you so much for joining us. Have a great IFSEC 2015. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.